Hi there, it's Mark from Lanagard again. Um, just uh, by chance, we're down my cousin's garage and uh, they have a, uh, a motor home on the ramp and I thought we'd have a little look at this because um, an opportunity you barely seen. So I believe this is about 15 years old. Um, clearly, I'd say it's probably never been treated. You can see the um, amount of rust and rot that they're dealing with. And what was, I suppose, most poignant was there's a big welder sitting underneath here, so I'm guessing that's the job in hand. Um, but if we walk through under here, you'll see there's some galvanised parts, there's some wooden parts, wooden floor in a motor home, which is why we use the outdoor and that, the anti fun doing it, it's not really moulding, getting on the wood. Um, but, uh, you know, moto chassis, all the moto spray on, under the whole thing is what's needed. Because obviously this is galvanised, but when you've got galvanised parts, when you think there is, it sacrifices. So this is very rusty. It's all the little small running parts on motor homes, generally, that are a problem. Um, now this is probably not going to break, but why not protect that? And you can see the bolts are going, and that's again because they're through a galvanised piece, so they're giving a, a sacrificial uh, corrosion. Um, what else have we got here? It's all front mounts, brackets, things like that, I suppose. Front end is pretty worse for wear. As you can see, up in there, all the power steering hydraulic hoses here, and you know, lo lots of pretty bad corrosion. That clearly, I suppose none's ever done here. That's going to go, and obviously it's already gone here, so it's starting to go, starting to cost money, and that's what that weld is there for. So, there you are, quite useful. Oh, there's no box, so. Alright, there you go. Thanks very much. Bye.